All right, so uh, we've done a, a lot of changes to the Judy loop this year. Uh, you started out last year uh, going along the creek loop, if you remember that. Uh, you now don't come out of the creek loop at the end of it. Uh, you, last year you would have come up out of the creek loop with a pretty good uphill onto the 11th fairway of the golf course. Now you stay along the creek uh, and it's really very pretty down there. It used to be just a huge bramble of brush. That's been cleared out. You go along the creek now, stay along the creek, you pop out near the 11th green if you're a golfer, kind of between the 11th green and the creek. Uh, you follow along Bassett's Creek and you'll see coming towards you quite a, quite a dramatic hill and that's kind of our new, I would say, signature hill. We've been calling it Ravine Hill. I think we'll probably change the name as time comes on here. Uh, but that's quite a climb to, to come up to where we are right now. Uh, you follow along uh, the, the top of that ridge, go through a little dip to do. You're in the woods the whole time now. Uh, and uh, continue on, you pop out of the woods right near the 10th green. Uh, at that point you rejoin last year's course, only going backwards across the 11th fairway to the north. Uh, you'll cross the 11th fairway so you're now on the west side of the fairway follow along the woods there and then you take kind of a swooping left hand turn that eventually takes you back into those woods now going back south again uh, where you'll uh, go along a new trail that's through the woods very pretty uh, with another fairly dramatic hill not quite as big as the first one uh, but one that will uh, especially given that you just went through the, the first one will uh, give you some, some pause uh, and then you pop back out and uh, rejoin the old trail at the uh, kind of towards the top of the tubing hill or the 10th fairway. Uh, so you've essentially tripled the distance in this area, which has enabled us to go from the four and a half kilometers that we had on our half and duty loop, the, the competition loop for the Junior Olympics, to about five and a quarter now uh, when you have the uh, snowboard hill uh, added in as well, uh, which that, that feature will be something that will be in some laps and not others in lap races out here. Probably won't be on the first lap of a race because it's uh, too steep and too close to the start for a mass start. Um, so that's that's the that's what's new out here. It's a uh, it's a couple sentences long to talk about, but I, I think it'll take a little longer to ski and it will be a pretty dramatic effect out here. I think. <laughs>